Okay, we're going to take a look at the integral of 3x sine x dx. We want to go ahead and do this one here. Whenever you have these sort of cyclic relations where the derivative just keeps alternating back and forth, um, usually that's indication that you want to use integration by parts. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to let u equal 3 to the x, and I'm going to let dv equal the sine of x dx. Therefore, du is going to be 3x ln of 3 with respect to x. And v here is going to be negative cos of x. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. So ver therefore, this is going to equal u v minus the in integral of v du. And again, that's using our result of integration by parts. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. So in this case here, we've got u times v. So we have negative 3x cos of x minus the integral of v, which is negative cos of x, times du, which is going to be, in this case, 3x ln of 3 dx. So I now know this is the integral of 3x sine x dx. Uh, is equal to the following. Let's clean this up a bit here. So I have the integral of 3x sine x dx is going to equal negative 3x cos of x plus, I can factor out that constant term, the uh, ln of 3, giving us the integral of 3x cos of x dx. So I'm going to try integration by parts a second time here because that'll switch this back to a sign, and then we can kind of collect these two together and solve. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna let u equal three to the x, and I'm gonna let dv equal cos of x dx, in which case du is three x ln three dx, once again. And v this time is sine of x right on. So now again, what we got here is the integral of 3x sine of x dx is equal to the negative 3x cos of x plus ln of 3 times I can replace the integral of 3x cos of x dx with u times v, which this time will be 3x sine of x minus the integral of v, which is sine of x, du, which is 3x ln of 3 dx. All right, we're getting there. So um, let's just clean this up a bit so we can see what we have. And you can see I can distribute that ln of 3, so this becomes plus the ln of 3 times 3x sine of x, uh, this will be minus the ln of 3 squared, because it's going to be two of those, integral of 3x sine of x dx. So now you can see here I have my in integral I want to evaluate, and I actually have it on this side as well with a different coefficient. So I'm going to bring those both over to one side. So bringing this to the other side, we're going to end up getting a 1 plus the ln of 3 squared times the integral of 3x sine x dx is minus 3x cos x plus the ln of 3, 3x sine of x. So now we can go ahead and uh, divide out this coefficient here. You can see it right here. Divide this out and we can isolate for our answer. So when I divide this out, I get the integral of 3x sine of x dx is equal to negative 3x over 1 plus ln of 3 squared times the cos of x plus ln of 3 over 1 plus the ln of 3 squared times 3x sine of x. You'll notice here I actually should have put that constant term when I evaluated any of these integrals, kind of waited right to the very last minute and just put a plus k at the end. 
Uh, but at any rate, uh, using integration by parts twice, we get the integral of 3x sine x dx is equal to the following. Thank you.